This lesson is on why do you want to develop the chip and catch. The core of playing good pickleball is the chip and catch and it is the most important skill to develop for ball control. You chip up an incoming ball by using underspin, which is also called slice or backspin, so you can catch it with your other hand. The great news is that by developing this very easy skill, your game will advance dramatically. Chip and catch is the answer to what is often said by commentators, soft hands, nice touch, and great feel. This skill allows you to take all of the speed off of an incoming ball. You want to be able to perform a chip and catch off of any ball from anywhere on the court. This illustrates your ability to control all types of incoming balls, and if you can chip and catch the ball, then you would be able to hit a drop shot into your opponent's kitchen. Your ability to take speed off of an incoming ball allows you to control the distance of your returning shot. This is done by the application of underspin. One of the more difficult shots to hit is when you are running forward on a short ball with both opponents up at their no volley zone line. The momentum moving forward often causes your shot to travel too far and give your opponents a pop-up. By practicing and developing a chip and catch when you have to run forward to a ball will give you the control to hit a drop shot into their kitchen. The chip and catch is the smallest or shortest of the underspin family. The largest, based on the distance the ball travels, is the lob. The family includes all of these shots, drop shots, dinks, drop volleys, returns to serves, drives, approach shots, lobs, and lob volleys. The application of spin and the pace that you hit the ball are all critical to how far the ball travels. A very important aspect of the all-around game is to be able to reset the point by placing your shot into your opponent's kitchen and the chip and catch is the starting point of a controlled drop volley or drop shot to accomplish this. You can return any ball with underspin and if you were to have only one technique you would want to have this simple and compact movement versus a large swing. There is a noticeable contrast with the majority of players as they hit mostly tops and forehands and underspin backhands. Develop the chip and catch for a ball on both your forehand and your backhand side will simply make you a more well-rounded player. Develop this skill and your game will improve with consistency and control. Use this technique when it is your turn to serve. I believe the best way to gather the ball in order for you to hit a serve is to develop the chip and catch. This skill allows you to gather the ball so you can then hit a serve, but more importantly, allows you to train your underspin technique. Most good players do this, and my main point is to develop this technique because it is the essence of controlling the ball. Watch how players gather the ball when it is their turn to serve. Some players will catch the ball with their hand. Some players will hit the incoming ball down into the court. These players simply are missing an opportunity to develop the most important skill, the chip and catch, and inevitably will not be able to hit a drop volley. Please review the chapters on how to perform this skill and the drills on how to develop this all-important skill set.